So yesterday was National UFO Day, July 2nd, which is awesome, my favorite holiday of the year. But today is um, the five-year anniversary for my um, my close encounter. And um, I've had many encounters uh, with UFOs <laughs> over the years. And um, uh, but one particular um, really sticks out because that really set like the you know like the whole tone of everything um because it was after that encounter that i was like i knew what was going on you know like i was i was 100 percent, and you know it was like real exciting and stuff so um it was uh july 3rd uh 2011 um uh 5 45 in the afternoon so it was almost almost six o'clock so i'm out on the roof of my house in Maryville, Indiana. And at this time, I had um I had built a UFO hunting platform by then. You know, my first sighting took place back on December 27th. Uh but by July, you know, like I was having sightings all the time and stuff like I was seeing stuff and so I, you know, like <laughs> was getting like all these like weird ideas and stuff and I had built a UFO hunting platform on my uh house on my roof. And um I was sitting outside because um, people were lighting off fireworks, you know, they do like all weekend before the 4th or whatever. And I'm sitting outside with a high powered laser. And uh, it was really interesting because, uh, you know, at first I'm just like, you know, like shooting a laser around, looking around, looking at the fireworks and stuff. And um, I always thought this was really weird, but I never thought about it until years later. Like I was like, that's kind of weird. So let me tell you. Um, I had uh, like all my gear with me so I had cameras and um, you know a telescope and um, a spotting scope and night vision and binoculars just you know I had a whole little gear of everything you know and it was still light outside okay so I had uh, all my stuff in the bag just you know just sitting there chilling just waiting for it to get dark and um, I had this fucking BB gun I had like this pellet gun um, that had like a, a I put one of my high powered lasers on it and uh, this owl came and landed on the tree um, probably like 10 feet from me and um, it was freaky because it was just sitting there just fucking staring at me just and I was like ah <laughs> and um, I was like all right go 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 away owl go on now get and um they went and leave, you know, so I was like, oh, fuck you, and I grabbed a fucking BB gun, and I, I shot at it, but it didn't fucking move, it didn't do anything, I was like, mm. and I shot, I'm like aiming right at it, and I was like, bing, and it didn't move, nothing, I was like, what the fuck, dude, and I checked, and I had BBs in there and everything, and I had a full cart cartridge of CO2, so I was like, maybe I'm just missing, so I turned a laser on, and I beamed him with the laser, and I was like, pop, 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 so I could shoot 10 in a row, you know, and I was like, I shot all 10, and it didn't do anything. It just, it just stood there. I was like, all right. And then it screamed at me. I was like, ah! And I was like, ah! <laughs> and it flew away. I was like, that was really freaky, but um, maybe it kind of led to what was about to happen. I don't know. But so So anyway, um, so I'm sitting there and the fireworks are being lit off and I'm on top of my UFO hunting platform and the, um, the sun was still up and everything. People are in the street lighting off fireworks. And then I'm looking up and out of nowhere, and I mean literally out of nothing, um, a black UFO, a black sphere about four feet in diameter came out of nothing like I I don't know how to describe it like it was like a ball just coming through a wall just and I was like shocked that I like witnessed it happen like I was like holy fuck dude and it came and it, it floated over right above my head and it just started sitting there just spinning just rotating slowly and it looked, it was perfectly like gunmetal black. 
and it had like this uh, center line going around like this thin what looked like a line going around the center of it and underneath it it had like lines that would go from the bottom up to the center line so kind of like if you were looking at a pumpkin like from underneath kind of like that except it was perfectly spherical you know um and i was like holy fuck dude literally it was probably about eight feet away so if i would have stood up i could have touched it okay this is how close it was like i swear to god <laughs> That's how close it was. So it was right above me. And I don't know why, but I just like reacted to it. I was just like, fuck it, dude. And I hit it with the laser beam. And the second I hit it, all the thoughts in my head echoed like, bah, like fucking everything. Everything echoed like, bah, like it shook. Like everything was just multiplied by like a thousand. I couldn't. Like, all the thoughts that you're just thinking in your head, like, you're like, oh, there's fireworks going on over here, there's a black sphere over there, I'm sitting on the roof, don't fall off. All those thoughts went fucking, bah, and they all echoed, like, everything fucking echoed, like, I don't know how to describe it, like, it's just like, oh, it was, it's so intense, I, like, I let go of the laser, like, holy shit, it freaked me out, and it just stood and, and spun for a little bit, and then it floated right next to the tree where the howl was, and then floated over top of it, and I, I couldn't see it, and I was like, holy fuck dude now i had seen what we had called like a probe like ufo before um uh, but never like this up close never like you know like like right fucking there and um so i jump down off of the roof and then i run to the window because it's like three stories so i jump onto the second roof and then i run and climb to the window and i run through the window through the bedroom then down the hallway to my sister and brother-in-law's room and i start yelling for them because i um i'm you know like i told my twin before about you know um seeing a probe and i said i'm like the probe's back the probe's back oh my god and dan my brother-in-law he's in his boxers now candace and i had told him ha that we had seen been i'd been seeing ufos and that candace even saw one and Dan's like, I want to see one. And I was like, I'm like, well, I, you know, it floated away. It's starting to float away. I'm like, we might be able to see it if we run outside. And he's like, fuck it. He's just in his boxers. He didn't care. And so now all this time we run back down the hallway, down the stairs and out the front door. And as soon as we open the front door, it's sitting in the driveway, just spinning. And my fucking brother said, fuck, like he was like, holy fuck, dude. Like, you know, and I was like, oh shit, man. And it's just sitting there fucking spinning. And I'm like. I didn't know what was coming over me, but I was like, I'm going to go up to it. So I start walking up to it and I feel this fucking like this gravity wave, I thought, or something kind of like holding me back. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, what's going on? And I thought there was some kind of weird force like holding me back until I realized it was my fucking brother-in-law. He's got the back of my shirt. And he's like, wait, 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 don't, don't, don't. Like, he's like fucking, oh, wait, 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 wait. Like, he's freaked the fuck out. And I was like, oh, fuck. Like, it, it, I thought there was something like, it was like fucking, I thought there was like this force pushing me back. But it's actually my fucking brother-in-law pulling my shirt back. And he's like, wait, 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 wait. Like, he, he was like afraid for me for some reason. But it was weird because as soon as I like started stepping towards the UFO, it started moving away. And then when I stopped, it stopped. And it just sat there and sp was spinning. And then I look over on the street, and there are people on the street lighting off fireworks, man. Completely oblivious to what's happening. And my sister runs, and she's like, like, Dan and I are already off the porch, and I'm getting close. Dan's like a couple feet back behind me, still like holding onto my shirt, though, like stretched out. And then fucking I hear Candace, oh my God, you know, and I, and I turn around and I see Candace. She's like, holy fuck, dude. And then it, I'm like, I look back at it and it starts moving its way into the street. So I'm like, fuck it. And I start like running up to it and it just goes into the street and then it just starts floating up at a, like a 30 degree angle. And we get out in the street and no one even noticed the UFO until um, a younger girl was like, we could hear her was like, is he in his boxers? And then <laughs> she was talking about my brother-in-law. And then um, the dad he was with, he was like, hey, Dan, you know? And Dan's like, fucking look, you know? And then he looked up, he was like, holy fuck. And he, you know, he saw it before it started to float away. And he did like, everyone was like fucking just, they were fucking shocked. And I get into the house 
and I start screaming, I fucking knew it! Like, I'm fucking going crazy. Like, I fucking knew it. I knew it, motherfuckers. God damn it. I fucking knew it. I wasn't crazy. I'm not crazy. I fucking told you. And it, it was fucking intense. It was really, really intense. Um, but that, like, set the, uh, that set, like, the whole tone for everything. Now, um, I had, uh, another experience i i had quite i've had quite a few of them but there was another one that was um really interesting that i you know i've had only a, f a a handful of ones that were like spectacular sightings um but uh and one of them i'm gonna mention right now now this was before july 3rd okay um one of the things that like happened and i don't know if this is how it works or something i just like guessing I guess you know but um uh like I I started having the feeling to like go out to places that I've never been to to go and look for this for a UFO like and it was so the the drive was so fucking strong like I would do it like I would wake up in the middle of the night and I would just get up and like oh I'd be so tired and I would just go and grab my keys and everything and go and hop in the car and I would drive 25 30 40 sometimes 50 miles away I, I didn't know where the fuck I was going I would just go out to the middle of a fucking cornfield and wait to see a UFO and I'm not gonna lie man it was scary as fuck being out there by myself like I didn't know what the fuck I didn't even know what the fuck I was doing out there and how, like I was like I didn't know why I was at the right spot, but I knew it. I was like, oh yeah, this is it right here. So <laughs> um, that had been happening a couple times. And one time I'm sitting out, and um, the sun's just starting to come up. Okay, and I'm at this like synagogue, some kind of temple or something. And um, I'm like in the parking lot, surrounded by cornfield, <laughs> and um, I see this ball of light, this orange ball of light, floating over, and I'm fucking I got my high powered laser I'm hitting it with the laser I'm like wow so, this thing's so neat and it starts fucking floating and floating and then it fucking it looks like it's about to go down the horizon and then it just stops and it's just sitting there for a second I'm like wow it's fucking neat and then um it starts like growing really really big and I'm like oh man this is fucking cool and then as I looked I realized oh fuck it's not growing it's coming straight at me you know so it's got bigger like that you know that's I'm like oh fuck and then as it started to get close I'm like I got this fucking like great feeling so I'm like I'm gonna see what what it is I'm gonna see what's under the light I don't know why I knew this but I just knew that I was going to and as it fucking came the light went out and it started from the center and the light went out and formed a, a black flying delta like, it wasn't a triangle. It was like a V, like the letter V, you know? Just like, you know. And it was crazy because it didn't fly like a plane. You know how a plane, like its wings would, you know, fly like, you know, like that? It flew like a shark's fin in water, like this, like perfectly like that. And it was probably doing like 10 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour. It was just creeping. It had five lights on it, and they were all evenly spaced. And as it started to fl flow over, I start hitting it with the laser. And when I hit the black part of the craft, it, the laser, like, reached out. It, like, started, like, like, it looked like kind of, like, electricity kind of went, like, like, kind of, like, spread around it, you know? It was fucking weird because normally when I hit something with a laser, it just has a point, you know? It's just like a beam with a point. And, but for some reason, like... The laser light was going like it was like shooting all over the craft you know and, like fucking like it looked like kind of like green electricity was kind of like going sh and like shocking its way just like around the big section of of the craft just I was like wow that's fucking neat man and I I couldn't help it I was just like nah hitting it with the fucking laser and um and it slowly you know it float flew away and um at this, again I was like man I should chase after this thing and I was thinking about it and then I was like man I started I wanted to see one so bad again even though I just saw that like I started like praying kind of like I just was just like praying like hoping like mentally just like please please you know and then I just I had this crazy feeling and I looked up 
and I saw another ball of light. But this time, this ball of light was probably like 30 feet in the air, man. Like it was, I was like, holy fuck, dude. But it was like a little ball of light. And then as it floated over top of me, it, it, it turned into these two double spirals and they lit up like this, like, like, boom, 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 boom. like each spiral, like fucking like worked its way out into a big disc. It's hard to, it's hard to describe, but that's what fucking happened. I don't know. <laughs> it like, it, it was like a little point of light and then it went boom, 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 boom. And it did these two double spirals that spiraled out into a big disc and it all formed a big like disc of light. And then that's all I could fucking see was this huge like bright disc of light. And then um, the light went out and it slowly like shrunk its way back down to a little tiny orb, even smaller than it was before. And then it just kind of, you know, floated away. And um, I was so, <laughs> I was so happy you know, and I knew like after that, I knew like it was gonna, uh, it was gonna be closer. Like I would have a closer encounter, and so you know, I like made it a point to go out and um, and you know, whenever like I had that feeling that I wanted to, that I needed to go and see them, like I went, you know, and it's just whenever it was, you know, um, I was just like I gotta go. So <laughs> that's what I fucking did, and um. You know, there's some weird things that fucking, you know, like, um, I had this fucking, like, you guys know my tattoo, my, my, my crop circle. Okay, so, um, I don't know why, but when I built the, um, UFO hunting platform on my house, I also painted this symbol on the, um, on the roof. <laughs> I'm not sure why I did that. I'm not a fan of crop circles at all. I just came across it and I, I like I was like it just stuck out to me for some reason. I was like, wow, I that symbol just this sign just meant something to me. And I thought it was weird because I'm like, I don't believe in crop circles. So I don't know what the symbol has to do with it, but I was obsessed with it to the point where I was like, I gotta get that tattooed on my neck. Like I want the world to know. And um which is why I have my, my tattoos and um so I, I got my my crop circle and my gray alien and then this is the flying triangle. This is the one I saw that night that I was you know just telling you about. Um you know my encounters meant so much to me that I wanted it to be expressed on my body where it couldn't be avoided. Like when you look at me you have to see my neck and my tattoos because it's something that um I'm I'm proud of and uh means a lot because it because it is real. It just there's no other way around it. And so I was like, well fuck I'm gonna have to sport it. I'm gonna have to just let the world know. So I've never been um I always fight for the truth and then that's you know, because it's because it's real. So when you're in a position like I'm in where you want to tell somebody, but you can't because they're like, oh, you're crazy. Fuck, man. <laughs> you don't know how many fucking, <laughs> you don't even know, man. I straight up broke up with my girlfriend over and, um, uh, over UFOs because there's a reality there. And, and the situation was just like, I, <sighs> that's what you do. That's what I had to do. It's fucking it kind of sucks. It takes over your whole life. But, I mean, the shit that happens to you is just so... It's worth it. God, when I think about it, man. <laughs> it's just worth it.